What's up? This is Square2448 with a FS17 snow plowing video, and today we're going to be taking the case loader with the boss box plow. We're going to be plowing out our shop, and then we're going to be taking our largest plow truck, which is the Kenworth, with a very nice three snow plow setup on it to plow out the town road. So let's start up the case loader and get plowing. And uh, I did do a mod review on all the mods used in these videos. If you guys would like to check them out, and I'll have the link below. This boss plow is definitely very easy, and it's awesome that we get to use this. So I think we're going to see, can we push all this snow up there? And we won't be pushing it up and over the stone wall, but we'll be pushing it close. We really only need to create a path to the uh, road, and then we're going to be getting started. But I don't want to get the truck set up to snow plow and uh, not be able to get through the uh, driveway. So we're going to be going here, and I did get a water request to do some snow plowing with this plow, and I really am a fan of this boss snow plow. It's a great plow, and I really do like using great mods like this. But if any of you know how to get these working garage doors to work on the building to the right and to the left, let me know down below. I really would like to use those buildings for our equipment since this is one of the only snow maps out there right now, but uh, yep, we're going to be turning our beacon and our lights on today since we do need them all, and we're going to be making the same pass down the same stretch that we are doing to clean it up since we are missing a little here and there, but overall snow plowing in FS17 is coming along great. I think that there will be plenty more uh, videos coming out with snow plowing related and especially mods so that we could use them. But I will be doing many tutorials on how to do some stuff with the snow plowing. But I think once we do this one and we just clear a little bit out in front of that truck, we're going to be pulling on out. But uh, this boss plow does do a pretty good job. I'm not sure exactly why it's like hitting the bottom every now and then. But it might be because I just needed to raise it a little. But the ground is bumpy since it is gravel. But uh, yeah guys, this is a great setup that we are running. And like I was saying, that is our biggest plow truck we have. And I think that's going to be very cool using that. But I think actually the best thing for us is to turn and to just put all this snow right there. Not uh, a good idea to keep pushing a lot of snow like that. Since the loader looks to like it is having a little bit of trouble. And I am under the weather today, so I'm sorry about that. Hopefully I will get better throughout these days. But yep, I'm very excited that we are snow plowing with these mods. And all the links will be down below so you can check them out. Now this boss snowplow does pivot back and forth. But I just always have it selected on the um, loader. That way we can move it up and down instead of just moving it to the boss snowplow. But I really am liking the first person view with this uh, snowplow. It is awesome. But we are almost to a point where we can take this truck. I think I'm just going to push all the snow way back here if we can. Looks like we are missing a little, but like I was saying, we do need some more improvements to the snow plowing mods, and I think that there will be plenty more to come and uh, help make these videos even more realistic. But we're going to put this plow down, and we're going to do one more pass, and then we're going to switch and get that truck ready for us, and put the plows down, and go plow in the town roads. I do get a lot of requests to plow a lot of the roads. But if you do have any cool video ideas for any types of trucks you guys would like me to plow with, let me know down below. And I think one of the biggest features about this from FS15 snow plowing is that we actually can create large piles of snow at the end of all the passes, which is very realistic. But we're going to be backing this truck up. And, uh, perfect. We actually did this well. We're going to turn the lights and the beacons off. And I would like to show you, this is the IT Runner dumpster if you would say since this is a hook truck and I thought since we are a town truck today we'll go with the orange paint scheme since some towns go with orange many towns have their own but I thought we would go with this so it looks like the uh, plow starts there okay oh no guys we have bottomed out all right we got the plow truck unstuck so we're gonna make our way on over to the street but, but why do we do that guys I do want to select through and turn on the beacon lights, guys. And this truck is full of lights. 
It has lights everywhere. LED light bars, beacon lights, everything. Even on the back, it has a bunch of lights. So we're going to put them all on since we need them. And we're going to be dropping these plows and plowing these town roads. So let's drop the first one. We'll select on over. Which one is it going to be? Looks like we have to do one more. Awesome. So we're going to drop the front one. And looks like we did that one. We're going to drop. Let's see which one. We're going to drop the right one. Now this truck is a lot easier plowing out the town roads. Makes our work uh, faster also, but we're gonna put them down. Look at that guys. We got the plow truck ready Let's hit the roads and hopefully let's see if we can plow up this hill And I think the best thing for us is kind of to stay to the middle of the roadway And then if we do need to we could go back and uh, plow out the uh, Sides with only half the truck if you would say one side and the front But look at that guys. We are plowing the largest plow truck we have today in our fleet is out helping clear these roads but hopefully I can learn how to add these snow to any map and then I'll be adding it to our custom map and we're going to be doing some snow plowing on that but this truck is very helpful in clearing all the roads very fast and I would like to thank you all for the awesome continued support on the channel we are coming very close to 30,000 subscribers so smash the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already for a video and help the channel out by sharing it with your friends because I do have a pretty cool surprise coming for 30,000 subscribers but look at this guys we are doing a great job today we are leaving a little bit here and there but that's the best we are doing but uh yeah it looks like we are clearing a lot actually and I know that the front one shouldn't exactly be straight but it is going off to the sides and then the two plows to our sides are doing its job but look at that guys we are going right by the tree nursery and I really do like having this I believe this truck is called a hook truck where it's like a dumpster truck that picks up dumpsters and I decided that it would be best for us to put a, a uh, dump truck bed if you would say on the back to make it feel more like a dump truck since I know many dump trucks do plow snow it actually looks like some of these roads have been cleared just a little but there is still a lot we need to do so we're going to be doing here town roads still include this since it is a uh, trailer park just that uh this is a road going through the center so we're going to be clearing this this looks like it hasn't been cleared today and there's a lot of snow here but uh this truck is great i did do a mod review check that out it was a lot of fun reviewing cool mods like this but I did choose to use this one instead of the smaller one since it does have that extra axle to help spread out the weight. Especially since plows are pretty heavy. But look at that guys, we are making pretty good progress here today. I would like to end up back at our shop, but I'm not sure if that is going to be possible today. Because there are so many more roads that we do need to plow out and properties. But uh, yeah, let me know when you would like the next snow plowing video. And we might be doing some more work uh, trying to set up the lawn care shop a little bit more. But let me know down below and uh, I will gladly look into doing it. And I really do thank you all for the awesome comments. It's a lot of fun reading and replying to a lot of you. So I thank you all for that. But look at that guys. We are doing a pretty good job. Let's switch views. I know that we are going through a few trees. But look at that guys. This plow is doing a great job and uh, this looks to be a reskin of the original plows that we did have but I really do like how they are this uh, color since they're definitely very helpful and a lot of the town trucks usually do have a certain uh, paint scheme that does match the plows and everything about the truck so I thought this would be cool but these LED lights are stealing the show if you would say they are definitely helpful in letting all the drivers know around us that we do have a truck that is going pretty slow but I think we're gonna turn in here do this neighborhood awesome guys so we, now we are in here and I know that at some times it looks like each plow isn't doing that much but I really do like this idea that we get to use three plows on a truck and I know that they actually do have like a trailer that comes out to one of the sides and you could plow like a full highway lane almost like one side of the highway with one pass so they do have many cool 
pieces of equipment and hopefully we could get some of those in the farm sim to help plow with but look at that guys we are pushing the snow up oh no hopefully we don't get stuck we did get stuck but we did fix ourselves which was good oh no drifting a little off the road it is actually pretty hard to plow even if you have markers because you don't want to be hitting any of the terrain but we do run a landscaping company in FS17 so we will be doing a lot of work trying to fix that oh no guys looks like we are almost stuck looks like we are fixing ourselves that is awesome I don't want to end up calling the heavy wrecker truck since we do uh, have one in the works right now but look at that we are still making pretty good progress even though we are having a little bit of trouble that is a lot of snow look at all that snow on the front and on the side plows that's a lot so hopefully we do a pretty good job at it I think we're gonna pull out and uh, code a day pretty soon but smash the like button if you really did enjoy today's video thanks for watching and subscribe for more